Henry Ford once said, if people have asked me, uh, if I'd have asked people what they wanted, they'd have said a faster horse. Well, in the public services, we still seem to be looking for a faster horse at a time when we should be redesigning the public service model and redesigning our services, because that's the only way in which we're really going to be able to improve services at less cost. And I think what this report is saying is that re-engineering at the margins is just not good enough. Uh, we've got to be transforming services and we've got to be using design and design disciplines uh, to do that. I'm really pleased with the product of the Design Commission report. There's been lots of input from lots of people across the country. Um, we haven't just been you know, using the skills and expertise of people within London. We've been drawing on skills and expertise of designers and of public servants across the country. And what we've produced, I think, is a very useful document, but also a useful route and path forward so that designers and commissioners of public services can have got a practical toolkit that they can use to reform their own services. Design will make services in the public sector better, faster, more suited to, to the needs of the user, but above all, cheaper. And in these tough times, that's really, really important. But the really significant thing, I think, is that the report comes up with the, pra the practical solutions. A lot of our public services are in buildings that were put up in the 19th century uh, with services that were uh, created in the 20th century and here we are in the 21st century. The challenge is redesign the services so that citizens get what they need, so that we provide affordable, accessible, seamless services that work for our citizens.